how to depill, wash, and block a sweater. Uh, our sweaters are so expensive. Uh, they do sometimes uh, get these little bumps all over them. That's called pilling. And you can buy one of these little, it's called a defuzz it. It's the cutest little thing and really effective. Uh, and you just lightly lay the sweater down, lightly um, draw this little defuzz it over the surface. Don't dig in and it takes off all those little bumps. And just keep cleaning your defuzz it. Look how much I've gotten off this sweater already. And, um, and then measure your sweater. Um, and before you wash, measure so that you know uh, the dimensions of the sweater. Oh, and by the way, thanks to Oak Hill uh, Industries, everyone's taking home a defuzz it if you don't have one. You're gonna love it. Um, so measure your sweater because that's what you want your final sweater after washing to, uh, to conform to, to those measurements. Use a little tape measure like this and just measure the whole thing. Write it in a little book. And then in your sink or in your uh, laundry tub, um, put a little bit of liquid detergent. It's good to use liquid. And um, cold water for wool or cashmere. Uh, almost cold, not icy, icy cold, but, um, but cold rather than warm. And I let my sweaters just soak. Don't mix colors, beiges, whites, uh, separate from any colors. So leave that soak, rinse it out really well, squeeze it with your fingers. Do not wring. You don't want to wring your sweaters. And then um, measure out uh, the, the sweater itself. I always... Uh, tried to get it to be just the right measurements, just like this on an absorbent bath towel. And I have piles of these towels. You can almost make the sweater look exactly as it looked when it came from the store if you do this right. Fold this over. And again, remember, we didn't put it in the dryer. We didn't put it anywhere, the wringer. Uh, roll it up. Squeeze out all the excess moisture. Once you're finished getting as much of the moisture out as possible, put it on a drier towel, because this one's already really damp, and check the measurements again. And there you are. And when it dries, your sweater will just need a little touching up with the steamer, and you'll have a perfect, depilled, lovely, new-looking sweater.